Hello again, good to be with you. I hope you're having a, a good day today. Um, we've been uh, looking at the Gospel of Mark, we're in chapter 10, and we're going to look at verses 6 to 10, uh, 11 today. Uh, so those verses say this. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they're no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. When they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. He answered, anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery too. These are really tough verses, and particularly in the kind of uh, society that we live in now, they can be quite hard for, for some of us to hear. But Jesus was never afraid to say things that might have been considered controversial. There are aspects of these verses which seem inordinately harsh to some of us, difficult to, to uh, grasp hold of. Marriage, or more to the point, the breakup of marriage, is a really tough thing to go through. I don't imagine that anyone would want to go through that um, lightly. Jesus took a stand here and described in no uncertain terms what he saw the standard as a standard towards which anyone in a marriage should aspire, to maintain fidelity to the one we've become married to. He says that anything outside of that is considered adultery and is to be avoided. It's for that reason that the, these words are included in the wedding vows that we use in the Church of England during uh, a wedding ceremony. It's also the reason why marriage should never be entered into lightly, because it's intended from the outset to be lifelong. If you consider any form of relationship, whether it's married or platonic, just friends, the qualities that Jesus asks us to inject into them are the same. We're supposed to be faithful and true to each other. All our relationships are to be typified by the same genuine love and concern for each other. They should be filled with grace, mercy, gentleness and kindness. In marriage, those qualities come into very sharp focus because a married couple become closer, more intimate than people in pretty much any other kind of relationship will ever be. When things break down, it's usually more than one person who ends up getting hurt, whatever the relationship uh, is based on. Some things to consider. They all boil down to the same thing. Whether we're married or not, the call remains the same. To love one another. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would help us to treat every relationship we're engaged in with the same gentle and caring respect that you do. Help us to be filled with the same sacrificial qualities that you carried and help each of us to find our way through the trials and tribulations of relationships with the success that you call us to. So I pray, Lord, that you would soften our hearts, that you would open our, our minds and our spirits to the wonders of heaven and all the love that uh, heaven has to pour out. Bless us with these qualities, we ask, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.